If you guys want to buy FUT coins to open packs, get ready for Team of the Season, pick up some Team of the Week players, make sure you get that from GamerRady.co.uk, a cheap and reliable source. I'll put their link in the description. Welcome everybody, this is Mr. Games Master 1 here, and today I'm going to bring you guys a Master Player Review on Man of the Match, then ba ba. And if you don't know why he got Man of the Match card, it's because he scored the winning goal to get Chelsea through the next round through the Champions League. As is Zlatan fan, I'm not a PSG fan, I'm a Zlatan fan, and I was so fucking pissed. Zlatan deserves to win Champions League. But enough with that, let's get into this. So let's compare Man of the Match that I'm about to his normal card. See there, just a little, little pace, plus one pace, plus three shoot, plus, I don't know, someone dribble, little heading, little passing. Really not that much difference, to be honest. I expected Man of the Match to be, I don't know, 83 rated, 84 rated. And I picked up this guy for around 400k, ended up selling him for like around 300 something. Now let's check out his end game stats here before I get into this and tell more about him. 82 ball control, 81 dribbling, 90 finishing, 80 heading accuracy, 85 long shots, 90 penalties, 74 short pass, uh, 77 curve, 71 crossing, 93 shot power, 86 volleys. Really nothing that special to be honest. 3 weak foot, 3 scale moves, medium attacking, medium defensive, 90 strength, 81 sprint speed, 89 reaction, 79 jumping, 76 agility, 77 acceleration, 83 attack position, 60 vision, 67 aggression. So I'm going to tell you guys, uh, is this guy worth getting? Could he compete on Division 1 level? Is he better than his normal card? So we'll figure it out at the end of this video. And let's start with the pros and cons. Pros of this guy, his strength. His strength was... I want to say the strongest, but it's a really good strength for a striker. He was able to... I don't know, push off players, he was kind of aggressive, so if a player was running, he could balk it easily, like you tap B or O a couple of times, and he could push opponent off the ball. He was pushed off easily, but like, not easily, but like, by Hummels and company, they were able to push him off, so that that's that. His heading, this guy's six foot two. he's a big guy, he could do headers, really good for that, and... I don't know, his inbox finishing sometimes. I don't know, he wasn't really consistent. So now we're getting into the cons. As you see, there's not that many pros. So con, oh, one more pro, I forgot, my bad. His pace, he he was fast. He, I'll definitely say he was pretty fast. He got accelerate, and with like a big guy, six foot two, 100 something pounds run that fast, that's always good. And now let's start talking about the cons. Uh, fucking... Let's start with his shooting. Uh, that's like his shooting is between the pros and cons, to be honest, because he finished sometimes really nice finishes, but most times he wouldn't. He wasn't really consistent, to be honest. And for Division One, you really don't want that. You want a player that could consistently finish, to be honest. So his shooting, I would say, is definitely a con. His weak foot is also is like in between that half. It's like three weak foot. I tried to take a couple of shots with it. I got one goal with his weak foot, but the others was crap. He can't pass with his weak foot, so I don't know. I'm kind of iffy on the weak foot. I'm going to try to put it under con. Uh, his positioning, he has medium positioning, so he doesn't really make runs. Uh, and his touches, that's the worst con. He has the worst touches. It's, it was painful. I think This guy had to be, to be honest... The worst player I reviewed. I'm not saying he's the worst player in the game, but the worst player I ever reviewed. Saying that, I'm going to give this guy a 5.0 out of 10. Not every player is good. Not every player I'm going to tell you is good. This is the straight truth. Please, please avoid this guy. He's a waste of coins. Definitely not worth it. I wouldn't even pay 20k for this guy. He cannot compete on a Division 1 level. Is he better than his normal card? I couldn't give a shit. I won't even buy his normal card, to be honest. Unless I had to build, like, that national team. What does he play for? Cameroon, Senegal, something like that. Unless I had to make a national team, I would use him. Other than that, this guy is a waste of coins. You could pick up Aguero. You could pick up whoever you want with that amount of coins. And... Non shiny gold, I mean, non inform. I would pick up Jovetic if you're talking about budget. Sturge and Jovetic are so much better than him. So, yeah, that's my final thoughts on this guy. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. I think there's going to be a team of the week model, so I'll bring you a player review about that. Hopefully, later today or on Thursday. And I'm going to bring you guys a cheap how I play, cheap BPL, how I play Division 1 with them. Thank you guys for all your support. This is Mr. Games Master 1 here. That's all for today. 
I will see you guys next time. Peace out.